everybody, welcome back. It is 2022, three months into 2022, and I can already make a most entitled people of 2022 video. What does that tell you? Not a whole lot, to be honest, <laughs> but let's do it. Choosing beggars being bag of choosers. 2022 edition. Need help with taxes, free. Need to borrow a social security number of someone's child who don't need more tax breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Where does one find the audacity? I'm only one sentence in and I'm already astonished. I contracted and did not pay my tax, so I need help tax breaks. Let me borrow your kid's info for my taxes. Can trade out light construction work or EBT card. Light construction work only. What does that mean? Are you going to put tape on a couch? <laughs> Are you going to like screw in some, uh, some doorknobs? What does that mean? For a tax fraud trade, a trade that would likely put both of you in jail. You're going to offer some light construction work. I like that they're just putting this on Facebook so everybody can see it, including the police. That's really smart. Pay your taxes, kids. And this is your reminder to pay your taxes and subscribe. One of those things is not as exciting as the other. You should subscribe right now and then pay your taxes, you know, like when you're supposed to in March. That's literally now. <laughs> oh, that's fun. The tax man's funny. Eh? He's a good guy. Breakfast hours should be more flexible. At 10 a.m., they remove everything. Too early for families with teenagers. Ended up wasting many breakfast tickets. Staff could be more flexible and customer-centric. For instance, they offer free wine, very cheap Italian wine, but still a nice gesture, from 17 hour to 19 hour. We came one evening at 19 hour 03 and said it was too late. Any hotel I've been to in the past, they would just simply get the bottle back and serve us. But Japan service is good, yes yet not flexible at all. Should empower staff to make those customer friendly decisions. That's literally free wine. You could also make sure that you're there on time. It's free. I also like this like, oh, my teenagers must sleep in. They simply cannot get up early. It's, it's the hotel's fault. I simply could not make them get up a little bit earlier. Growing brains simply must sleep until noon. I'm looking for several budding graffiti artists to paint my motor home. No payment will be offered for this as most graffiti artists do it for free on whatever they want to. I'm offering a clean space to do what you want within reason, no tag names, no gang insignia, no nudity. Business is predominantly white, so who wants a chance to do something good? Budding graffiti artist? I mean, okay, putting a tag on something, like a graffiti tag is totally different from actually making like a mural. Spray paint's not cheap. You require a lot of spray paint to make a mural. I'm sure you could invite some graffiti artists to just come and deface your property. <laughs> I'm sure they would probably do that for free after seeing this post, but a mural, it's gonna cost a little more. Help edit my offensive book for free. Hooray, <laughs> sign me up. Looking for freelance book editors that aren't afraid to get their hands dirty during my fishing. I've already been rejected with the accompanied problematic and sensitive transphobic and inappropriate in the social climate. I don't have the budget yet, but I'm trying to find someone willing to take a chance with me. I believe in this novel. Also, please don't recommend those freelance artist sites. You know, the ones that you like have to pay the artist. Is that the ones that you mean? Most carry imposing copyright laws where I'd be signing myself over to the devil. I plan on self-publishing this. Just hoping some of my English undergrad friends will see this and I feel terrible that I can't remember your names. And that is followed by a goat emoji. Are you the goat? Is all I have to say to that. My, uh, my judgment is if your book makes people so offended that they don't want to work for you, you're gonna have to fish out a little bit more money for that, I think. But no one's gonna want to put their name on that either. There's no taking a chance, okay? They're gonna want to use a pseudonym, not have their names attached to it. So really there is nothing in it for them. How not to hire a developer on Facebook. I have a program already created in Unity. I need someone to duplicate it and update it. I don't have the code, I just have the application. So you'd have to view the application and then duplicate slash update the style. I need it by tomorrow, but I'll pay $200 in January. Someone I paid let me down, so now I need this ASAP with a payday after it's done. Please, someone help. That sounds like a lot of work. 
I mean, I'm not a developer. I don't know how much work that would entail. Please, if we have any developers watching, please educate us on how long this would actually take. I'm interested to know how much of one's free time would be dedicated to helping someone they literally don't know for like no money. And also, Never accept a job that says that they will pay you later. You get the pay up front, at least half. How to be a freelancer with Charlotte Dobre, the girl that does not freelance anymore because she is so annoyed by entitled people. So now she makes videos about them and calls herself the queen of petty. You see where I'm going with this? It all came together. <laughs> Who has the last laugh? I do. So, so many laughs, so many laughs. We laugh a lot on this channel, don't we? I told him he couldn't bring his balloon on the airplane. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. He asked if you could just drive here and pick us up from Oregon so he could keep his balloon. Does that work for you? You expect me to drive across the country for that? Are there like no balloons anywhere else in the country? Oregon is the only place in the United States that has balloons. Reasons why Charlotte is not a mom. I would steal the balloon too, that, that's mine now. You could also just, here's an idea, just uh, pretend to let the balloon go accidentally. Oops, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's, oh, it's gone. Oh, don't cry. Choosin Beggar wants to sample a filet to make sure it's up to family standards. Guest, I was here last week and the chef let me try the lobster bisque. I was wondering about the bourbon filet. It is different to take a little thing of soup than it is to cook an entire steak. Soup is already made. Me, the filet is great and is one of my few items that's been on the menu since we've opened. How did you like the bisque? Guest, it was fantastic. I worry the family won't like the filet. Can you make me one so we can try it and then maybe we might order a family meal? Me, sure, how would you like it cooked? It will be $34 after tax. Guess I was thinking it would be free, like the bisque. This is not an ice cream shop. You can't just take a free sample of a steak. Me, immediately thinking this is why we don't feed the critters. I'm sorry, filet mignon is expensive and I can't hand out samples. Guess you did it with the bisque. That's because it's soup and they probably make a big pot of it. Me, no, my chef did and instead of bringing you back to buy a bowl, it just brought you back to get something else for free. Guest, this isn't a polite way to treat a customer. Me, you haven't paid for anything, therefore, not a customer. Guest, good luck. Thanks. As long as you are out of my restaurant, I will consider that good luck. I am a customer that has not paid for anything and I'm outraged at my treatment. <laughs> I belly laughed at this idiot. Nobody has an Android from 2018 to 2020 that they don't mind giving away for free, huh? I am completely broke and can't get a new phone, no iPhones, and I'm only explaining this once. I have issues with the app store and iPhones in general. So no iPhones. Time and time again, we are proven that beggars really can be choosers. Usually it's the other way around. Usually people want iPhones and nothing else. I guess he feels very strongly. Guy didn't want a dresser I was giving away for free because he couldn't be sure it was from Ikea. Okay, see you soon. I'm still an hour away, but okay, see you soon. Is there a sticker on the inside wall of the dresser with the model number? No, but the style is the mom. If there's no sticker, I can't be sure it's Ikea. Are there warning stickers in the drawers? No, we pulled all the stickers off when we built it, but it's Ikea. If you don't want it, no worries. It's too far for me to not know for sure. Cool. So it's a free dresser and you really, you like really love Ikea, eh? Like a lot. It must be Ikea. There's no other way. You will not accept any free furniture from anywhere else but Ikea. <laughs> you want to make sure it is authentic. Okay. Uh, said no one ever except for this person, but sure. Preferred qualifications, master's degree, minimum salary, minimum wage. I'm really glad I don't have my master's. Ugh. I was this close to going back and getting it, but if this is this is what I ha the job market is like, holy cannoli. It's like, do you even know what a master's degree is? I feel like they don't. They're like, oh, hey, master's degree, oh, yeah, put that down. <laughs> Large influencer wants free clothing from my small brand. Let's, let's read it in Carmen, shall we? Fair. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Let's work. Bet, let's do it. Let's make this happen. What are you thinking? Send me clothing to promote to my fans so they shop with you. For sure, man, I'll send you a few shirts. Let me know what shirts you like. It says everything you have is out of stock. Yeah, right now I'm in the process of moving in a few weeks, so I haven't made this batch of shirts yet. I do have the materials to make them, so I can print some for you this weekend. Let me know what shirts you want, and I'll update the website stock so you can order them. That one, that one, and this one. Bet, man, check the website now. It's gonna ask for a password because I don't want other people buying them. The password is, were you able to order them? I didn't do that. What? 
Did, did you want them for free? You don't do that. I don't buy things. I'm a <laughs> influencer. Influencers get stuff for free. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but dude, it's not cool to use your influence to get free stuff from small startup brands. I checked your comments and saw that you did the same thing to other brands. You also haven't posted any promo pics for them. So I doubt I'll get them either. Also 90% of your comments are fake. <laughs> so I wouldn't even get any real exposure. I could be wrong, man, but it really seems like you're trying to scam small businesses and that's not cool. I had a friend who used to do this. You know, she would get like the occasional brand deal and stuff. And then behind the scenes, she was like upset about the engagement that she was getting because you know, you're getting a brand deal. And if you don't have any engagement, that brand's never gonna work with you again. So she would try to like get us to engage in the photo, basically create like a message thread where we would go and like like her picture and comment and I never did it. That's influencer fraud. I know it seems kind of innocent, but that's fraud. You're inflating your numbers. That's those aren't customers, those aren't real people. Well, they are real people, but they're not people that are gonna be buying the products. And also, I'm pretty sure that you can just buy fake comments now. Like you can buy fake likes and fake comments, but brands also have the ability to find out if you are faking it. It's not even hard. You should come watch my kid all week for $150. I'm looking for an in-home sitter again. We only have one car right now, so you have to come to me. And given the track records of some of the sitters I've had, I'd rather him here to keep an eye on him. I won't bring him to you or have you pick him up. $150 a week and I'll be home if you need something or questions. I'll provide everything, just occupy him without keeping him in his room all day. Read books, play with him, etc. He's a great baby. Must also clean up after yourself. 8.45 to 3.35, Monday, Tuesday, off Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. Bonus points if you can pick him up for my sisters on Friday. Ooh, a bonus point. I can use that to get my coffee in the morning. Bonus points. You know, cause Starbucks takes that for currency. Bonus points. $150 for for 10,000 designs, seems fair. Looking to make 9,999 designs for an NFT launch. Process one, create basic, I don't know what that means. Needs to be transportable into JPEG, timeline two weeks. Are you dumb? 10,000 designs for $150? Good luck. I'm an influencer, so do you want exposure? My name is Nadia, and I absolutely love your custom Air Force Ones. I was wondering if you'd be interested in sending me a pair for free in exchange for promotion of your products and brand on my social media account. I would love to promote your product. I've gotten 1,000 to 7,000 views on some unboxing videos and over 900 likes on those videos as well. Let me know what you decide. I can give you my shipping information and contact info. I don't give out $180 shoes for free, and I also have more likes and followers than you do on TikTok, so the answer is no. That's kind of of embarrassing at that point. Are you a creative looking for work? Do you have a sense of humor? Experience in selling online? A weird love of spreadsheets? Desire to be paid in magic beans? Ah, that's one I haven't heard before. Email us with a brief description of who you are and what you're about. You're commuting and other Desire to be paid in magic beans. That's a new one. Cheeky, but still entitled. Those were the most entitled people of the first three months of 2022. Give them a round of applause. Good job. The audacity, I tell you. Subscribe!